living things versus non-living things. A complete explanation of differences between living things and non-living things. We see many things around us. Do you know the names of these things? The sun, clouds, chair, teddy bear, a car, a butterfly, a flower and a cat. Of all the things we see around us, some are natural things and the others are man-made things. Things like the sun, clouds, moon, humans, animals, insects and worms and plants and trees are all natural things. Whereas things like cars, books, toys, bicycle and the buildings around us are man-made things. Natural things are those things that occur in nature by itself, are either made by God or nature. But man-made things are things which are created and made by the human beings. These are lifeless or non-living things. All the things around us can either be living things or non-living things. A tree, a flower, a girl, a cat, a tiger, a butterfly, all are living things. A teddy bear, sun, moon, a car, a ball, a snowman and a doll, all are non-living things. But how can we tell if something is a living thing or a non-living thing? Well, think about it. They all have special characteristics. All the living things have a life and a lifespan. They live for a certain time and then die and decompose. Look at the sunflower. After some time, no matter if you pluck it or not, it will wither away and die. Lifespan is the period for which a living thing lives. So differences between living things and non-living things. First one is all the living things grow. A baby, for example, grows into a little boy and then into an adult human being. Non-living things, on the other hand, do not grow. Look at this chair for an example. Will it ever grow in size? No, it will not. It shall remain the same, always. All the living things grow. Not only humans, the plants. For example, a small seed grows into a seedling and then into a big tree. Small pups grow into big dogs, small chicks grow into hens and roosters and small cubs grow into adult tigers. The second difference between living things and non-living things is that all the living things need food and water for their survival. Non-living things on the other hand do not need food and water for their survival. Humans are living things and they need food and water for their survival. All the animals that are also living things need food and water for their survival. A lion eats meat, a cow eats grass, a bird eats worms, a panda eats bamboo and a squirrel eats nuts. Even the plants and the trees make their own food with the help of sunlight, water and air by a process called photosynthesis. The third difference between living things and non-living things is that the living things breathe in air. Humans, animals, birds and trees all breathe in air. Whereas the non-living things do not breathe in air. Take a look at this chair. Does it breathe in air? The answer is no. 
All human beings have a pair of lungs and they breathe in oxygen with the help of lungs and breathe out carbon dioxide. Like the humans, animals do have lungs and they breathe in oxygen with their lungs and breathe out carbon dioxide. All the trees and plants around us also breathe with small holes present on their leaves called stomata. They breathe in the carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen and this process is known as transpiration. Living organisms living in water like fish breathe with the help of gills. They breathe in the oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. The fourth difference between living things and non-living things is that all living things move. Humans can move, plants can move too. Whereas the non-living things do not move on their own. Look at this chair. Can it move on its own? No. Humans move with the help of their legs. Animals also move. Mammals move with their four limbs. Insects crawl with their legs. Birds and butterflies fly with the help of wings. Water animals like fish can swim with the help of fins. Plants also show movement. Plants grow upwards. Sunflower moves in the direction of sun. Climbers coil around their support. The fifth difference is that the living things grow old and die, whereas the non-living things do not grow old and die. All plants and trees grow old and die. Humans too grow old and die one day. All the animals also die one day. The sixth difference is that all the living things sense and respond to changes around them. We all feel hot as well as cold, but the non-living things do not sense and feel the changes around them. For example, this chair, will it start to feel hot if we keep it in the sun? No, it cannot feel anything. The human beings sense and respond to the changes around them with the help of their five senses. They can smell, hear the sound, see, taste things and also feel what is happening around them. All the animals also sense and respond to their environment. Owls and bats have great hearing, whereas eagles and vultures have excellent vision. Dogs, sharks and bears have a strong sense of smell. Even the plants respond to the environment and touch. For example, the touch-me-not plant folds its leaf once we touch it. The last difference between living things and non-living things is that all living things reproduce or produce their young ones, while the non-living things do not reproduce. Look at this chair. Can it produce a small chair from its own? No, it cannot. But the humans and all mammals give birth to their young ones. Birds, insects and reptiles all lay eggs and produce their young ones. Even the plants reproduce through seeds. A small seed grows into a seedling and then again into a same plant of its own kind. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for future updates and leave your wonderful comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.